This time up, we have a 1973 Marshall Super Lead 100. Uh, this one has a replaced power transformer. It was probably done earlier in the amp's life as it doesn't appear to be any kind of a new replacement. It does look like an older replacement. Uh, four output jacks, typical with this kind of amp, uh, have found it necessary once again to jump the channels and uh, because the bright channel on these amps is nonetheless it's bright. <laughs> and the other channel is pretty basic. So we mix them together. We don't end up with a tremendous amount of bass, but we do end up with some low mids and fullness to the sound that I think is desirable. Uh, volumes are about eight on the treble volume and about six on the bass volume. It is cranked up, and so in this room here, this is a pretty loud thing going on. Uh, I should say that for these, this demonstration of these amps, we're using a Cornford Richie Codson 412 cabinet. It has four vintage 30s in it, and uh, we're doing that just because we don't want to harm any of the vintage Marshall cabinets, which I, in my life, have harmed many of. So uh, this is a safe way to demonstrate the amp. Uh, the guitar is a 62 SG Les Paul standard. It has PAF pickups, which measure in the high sevens, not quite the eight, uh, which is sort of typical for what we've seen in these guitars. Um, when on the when the on the bridge pickup, but yet turned down, the guitar does have a nice solid. Uh, So that's the, the sound of this thing. 